Hey everyone, and welcome back to Everything Tesla Stock. It's no secret that Tesla and the SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is a big fan of artificial intelligence. In fact, he's so passionate about it that he co-founded the Dojo Supercomputer. In this exciting and insightful video, Elon Musk reveals the secret behind the Dojo Computer, an artificial intelligence learning platform. This powerful machine is helping to speed up the development of AI technologies by allowing developers to share their code and experiments with each other. The billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk reveals the secret behind the Dojo supercomputer. And it's not just for gaming anymore. If you're interested in learning more about this and how AI is changing almost every aspect of our lives, then keep watching until the end. Let's see what he's got to say. Before we start, if you like this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to keep up to date with everything going on with Tesla. Elon Musk recently revealed something about Tesla's Dojo effort to build an AI training supercomputer in a new rare comment and hinted about its potential. The CEO of Tesla first acknowledged the Dojo program's existence during Tesla's Autonomy Day. We do have a major program at Tesla, which we don't have enough time to talk about today, called Dojo. That's a super powerful training computer. The goal of Dojo will be able to take in vast amounts of data and train at a video level and do unsupervised massive training of vast amounts of video with the Dojo program, or Dojo computer, Elon stated. Dojo is a supercomputer in terms of complexity and speed, and it is different from other supercomputers in a number of areas. Dojo, which in Japanese means place of the way, is a common phrase for a location where people meditate or engage in martial arts. In this case, Tesla will train its full self-driving AI on the Dojo supercomputer. The Dojo D1 processor, which offers astounding bandwidth and computational performance, is at the heart of the design. In order to build self-driving technology by training its enormous neural networks, Tesla found that conventional computing platforms fell short. Tesla suggested they might offer Dojo to other companies working on AI in the near future. Existing supercomputers are far more general purpose than Dojo. High performance computing, HPC, also known as supercomputers, are optimized for extremely complex mathematical models of physical problems or designs such as climate, cosmology, nuclear weapons and reactors, novel chemical and material compounds, pharmaceutical research support, and cryptology. Even though Tesla has been working on the project for a while, it's still not complete. In fact, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk offered to participate in recruiting people for the program on Twitter this past weekend. Tesla is developing a NN training computer which is called Dojo, and it's there to process truly vast amounts of video data. It is a beast. Please consider joining our AI or computer chip teams if this sounds interesting, Elon stated. The CEO also made reference to the Dojo computer's processing power, a truly useful exaflop a de facto FP32. One exaflop is the same as one quintillion floating point operations per second, or 1,000 petaflops. In light of the competition to be the first computer to break the exaflop barrier, which includes organizations like Intel and AMD, as well as governments, is going to make Tesla's Dojo a genuinely cutting-edge supercomputer. In the past few years, Elon Musk has hinted at ways that they're going to be working on a supercomputer. Tesla announced the launch of Dojo at their in-house created supercomputer event called AI Day. Tesla's head of AI, Andre Kapathy, announced the company's new supercomputer at the 2021 Conference on Computer Vision and Pattern Recognition on Monday, allowing the manufacturer to replace radar and LiDAR sensors in self-driving cars with high-quality optical cameras. During his workshop on autonomous driving, Kapathy explained that getting a supercomputer to respond to a new environment in the same way that a human can requires a massive amount of data, and a massively powerful supercomputer to train the computer's neural net-based autonomous driving technology using that dataset. As a result, the predecessors to Dojo evolved. According to Kapathy, Tesla's latest generation supercomputer has 10 petabytes of hot tier NVMe storage and runs at 1.6 terabytes per second. With 1.8 eFlops, he claimed it to be the fifth most powerful supercomputer in the world, but then admitted that his team had not yet conducted the exact benchmark required 
to enter the top 500 supercomputer rankings. Musk has long advocated for a vision-only approach to autonomy, owing to the fact that the computers and the camera are faster than radar or LiDAR. Tesla Model Y and Model 3 vehicles in North America were produced without radar as of May, depending instead on cameras and machine learning to enable its sophisticated driver assistance systems and autopilot. Many self-driving firms employ LiDAR and high-definition maps, which need extremely accurate maps of the area in which they operate, including all road lanes and how they connect, traffic lights, and more. The approach we take in vision-based, primarily using neural networks that can in principle function anywhere on Earth, Kapati stated. According to Kapati, replacing a flesh computer, or rather a human, with a silicon computer results in lower latencies and better reaction time, 360 degree situational awareness, and a completely engaged driver. Kapati demonstrated how Tesla's supercomputer uses computer vision to correct bad driver behavior, such as an emergency braking scenario in which the computer's object detection kicks in to save a pedestrian from being hit and traffic control warning, which can identify a yellow light in the distance and send an alert to the driver, who is yet to start slowing down. Additionally, Tesla vehicles have already demonstrated a feature known as pedal misapplication mitigation, which alerts the driver if they accidentally step on the gas instead of the brakes. This feature could potentially save pedestrians in front of the car or stop them from accelerating into a river. According to Kapati, Tesla's supercomputer captures footage at a rate of 36 FPS from the eight cameras that surround the car and uses it to learn a staggering amount of information about its surroundings. While the vision-only approach is more scalable than collecting, building, and maintaining high-definition maps all over the world, it's also much more difficult because the neural networks handling object detection and driving must be able to collect and process vast amounts of data at speeds that match a human's depth and velocity recognition capabilities. After years of research, Kapati believes it is possible to solve the difficulty by approaching it as a supervised learning problem. Engineers testing the technology discovered that they could drive in less populated areas with no intervention, but clearly struggle a lot more in more aggressive environments like San Francisco. According to Kapati, to genuinely perform properly and reduce the need for things like high-definition maps and more sensors, the system will need to get much better at coping with densely crowded areas. Auto-labeling, which can automatically name things like road dangers and other items from millions of footage collected by vehicles on a Tesla camera, has been one of Tesla's AI team's game changers. Large AI datasets have frequently necessitated a significant amount of human labeling, which is time-consuming, especially when attempting to get the type of cleanly labeled datasets required to enable a supervised learning system or a neural network to perform well. Tesla's latest supercomputer has amassed 1 million films, lasting approximately 10 seconds each, and classified 6 billion objects with depth, velocity, and acceleration. All of this takes up 1.5 petabytes of storage space. This may appear to be a large sum, but it will take much more for Tesla to achieve the kind of reliability it requires from an automated driving system that requires and relies solely on vision learning systems, implying the need to continue developing even more powerful supercomputers in Tesla's pursuit of more advanced AI. Tesla did not build Dojo with the off-the-shelf components you might find at a store. It developed a novel architecture and many chip designs, which were most likely produced by Samsung. Instead of multi-core chips attached to motherboards, they imply the entire wafer. Tesla claimed that the number of GPUs is greater than that of the top five supercomputers in the world, but that's actually incorrect. What they actually meant was that it's got more GPUs than Selene, the world's fifth largest supercomputer, which has 4,480 NVIDIA V100 GPUs. Tesla's senior director of autopilot hardware and project lead stated that the 7 nanometer D1 chip was built in-house primarily for machine learning and to eliminate bandwidth issues. Each of the D1's 354 chip nodes is said to have one teraflop of computational power. They also claimed that the complete chip could handle up to 363 teraflops of computing and 10 TBPS of on-chip bandwidth and 4 TBPS of off-chip bandwidth. There's no dark silicon, no legacy support. This is a pure machine learning machine, he said. This was entirely designed by the Tesla team internally, all the way from the architecture to the package. 
This chip is like GPU level compute with a CPU level flexibility and twice the network chip level I.O. bandwidth. Tesla has the ability to make Dojo the world's most powerful supercomputer. If that is Tesla's intention, they will have their job cut out for them. What are your Tesla predictions? Let us know down below and thanks for watching. While you're still here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.